Here's another example uh, solving a system of linear equations in delta math. And again, level two problem where we have slope intercept form for the first equation. The second equation is in standard form. And another difference on this one versus the previous example is this one, um, one of the intercepts here, the x-intercept is not gonna be on the graph. So we're gonna have to find a second point a different way than we did on the previous video. All right, so y equals negative x minus one. We're gonna go ahead and, and plot the point zero, negative one. And the slope is negative one. So I go up one, left one, boom, there's that line. All right, on this next equation, we can still find uh, the y-intercept by substituting zero for x. So if we do that, we're gonna get zero minus five y equals negative 25. So we get negative five y equals negative 25. We divide by negative five and we're gonna get y equals positive five. So that's the point zero five. Okay, but again, on this one, if we just substitute zero for um, y in this example and solve for x, we get x is negative 25, which is not going to be a point on this graph that we can see and be able to click on. So that's not going to work for us. So we're going to put in a different value uh, for x. So maybe we try um, a value like it has a multiple of fives, right? So like x is 5 or 10 or 15. Well, you want to go 10. 15, so five or 10. Let's try if X is 10, all right? So if X is 10, 10 minus five Y equals negative 25. So you might be thinking, why are you picking five or 10? Well, because now when I subtract 10 from both sides, I just want something that's gonna be pretty divisible by five here, right? Because we're gonna have negative five Y equals uh, negative 35, right? So then negative 35 divided by negative 5 is going to be y equals 7, all right? So it's just different. If I would use like x equals um, 1 per se, right, I'm not going to get a pretty number uh, for, my, for my answer. It's not going to come out to be an integer. Um, so that's why I use multiples of 5. I knew I was going to be dividing by 5. All right, so now we know when x was 10, y is 7. So we can plot that point, 10, comma, 7. All right, so let's go back into delta math and do it. So we're going to plot the y-intercept was at 0, 5, boom, and then 10, 7. So I come all the way over to 10 and go up to 7 and click that point. All right, there's another way we could have done this. So let's, um, some of you like slope-intercept form. So you could have just rewritten this equi bottom equation slope intercept form, right? Subtract x from both sides. So then you'd have negative 5y equals negative x minus 25. Then you would divide both sides by negative 5, right? We divide by negative 5, both sides. So when we do that, we're going to get positive y equals negative... Well, Negative one divided by negative five is positive. So positive one fifth x, right? Because that was that's negative one x. So one fifth x, and then negative twenty five divided by negative five is positive uh, five. Oh, you see that on our line here? We would plot the point zero five, right? And then we would have went up one, right five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can go up one, right five again. Boom, there we are. So you could also graph it using slope intercept form um, if you don't want to use, figure out another point on the line that fits on your graph. Now let's test it and see if it works. So our point of intersection here looks like, what is it? Negative five comma four. Well, let's, let's plug that in and see if it works. Don't forget the parentheses. Negative five comma four. And parentheses again, and we and we go ahead and submit it. And yes, we got it correct.